All right, today, another Christmas day in Florida. We're at Disney Springs, and we're gonna do the Christmas tree stroll, as well as look at all the decorations. Right? We're excited. Let's go check it out. Now, if it's like last year, we were able to get a map at the little, what is it, guest relations? Yeah. Got Christmas music playing in the background. Some decorations there. Welcome center, that was the word I was looking for. Here are the locations for the map. All right, after figuring out where the maps are, we're gonna actually go to the front, past World of Disney even, and get our map there and then just work our way back. Love all these Christmas decorations. Over here we have the little like peanut reindeer. And over here it looks like the Jenison High School Concert Orchestra is gonna be starting very soon. And the location that we're gonna pick up our map at is the basin. That was one of like the five or however many locations that had it. So we're gonna start there and work our way back. And you can see map distribution right here. All right, here we go. Here's the map. They did say you get discounts along the way at certain places. And then we open it. Oh, there's, oh, there's more. more. Wow. Whoa, look at all of them in the, there we go. The better? Yep. There's a lot of them. Wow. Does it say where we're supposed to, oh, the boathouse? Is that like a redemption? Once your map is complete, bring it to one of the redemption locations. City Works is one City of them, so down there. Cool. Okay. Looks like we're gonna start up here by the Rainforest Cafe and work our way back. Just looking at the stickers, they have a Disney Plus tree and a 50th celebration one. Here's one of the marketplace snacks, peppermint bark nachos. Ooh. All right, it looks like the first one is here by Earl of Sandwich. Very large tree. Wow. All right, this is kind of tricky, but this has like the star and teddy bears on it. We're going for it. We're going for it. If we just get another look at it, you can see the star. We can already see the next one, which is right up here. And I know on the way walking here, there's one right over there. So those will be the next two. Here at Once Upon a Toy, they do have Santa. And if we go in and take a peek, you can see Santa's all there for ready for pictures. Then right here we have the Lion King tree. And you can see by right here. Yep, so Lion King's gonna go right there. Oh no. Then right next to the Star Wars trading post, there's another tree. And this one is Disney Junior. The tree is all decorated, Disney Junior. Okay, so now, sticker, sticker. Nice. And over here, oh, you can hear the orchestra playing. Over here at where we got the map at the basin, there's a tree at World of Disney. They also have this little Mickey decoration with the Santa hat on. And then right here is the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse tree. And then right next to the Lego store is our next tree. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's the Disney Parks 50th. Animal Kingdom, Hollywood, Magic Kingdom up top. Over on this side's Epcot. Disney 50th. Then by World of Disney and Amaretz, 
is our next tree. And this one is the Beauty and the Beast. Look at him up there. All right, Beauty and the Beast. And they've got more of the Beauty and the Beast characters up there. Lumiere for Mrs. Potts. Chips up there. Oh, the sun's so bright. Of course, as always, the huge long line to get in the Lego store. But right next to this side of the Lego store is another tree. And here's the Haunted Mansion tree. All right, Haunted Mansion. Sweet. Here is the next tree. Oh, and it looks like Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm not sure about all the QR codes, but I just scanned this one and it takes you to the Disney Springs website that talks about the holiday stuff. So maybe I was wrong. All of them might be the same QR code. We'll have to scan. Yeah. Under Armour Store is another distribution, map distribution location, but it showed quite a bit of trees down this way. Here are these ornaments that they had last year that usually light up at night. So we'll hopefully be back tonight to see if they still work and I'm gonna guess that they still have the fake snow at nighttime the snope look at this whoa for size comparison look that's insane the garland one yeah that's got to be. So then I think we're going to go this one, this one, then this one. And then we'll just have that section left. You can see the palm trees have lights on them and they're already twinkling. I also have this wreath with some bells on it. Straight ahead, we can already see that it is a Disney Plus tree. And then one behind it too, can't tell what it is, but here is their Disney Plus tree. Wow, they have all of the movies on it. Disney Plus. We'll get the Disney Plus one right there. So each QR code does do something different, but this one took you to Instagram for a Disney Plus filter. And then right on the other side is Coco. And then the Coco sticker. It appears there's gonna be like three, uh, three or four straight ahead of us. So I think we'll hit those, come back to this one, and then finish the rest, maybe? Maybe. We're at Planet Hollywood, and that's another map distribution, but there's three trees right out here in the open, so we're gonna do these three trees first. Not really sure what they are calling. Some of these don't have signs, but this is like a weird globe one. That's interesting. The sticker for this is like this. I don't, I don't really know. know. If anybody does, let us know. And then we can see two more right over here. And this tree here is frozen. Olaf. Olaf, yeah. The sugar bear code. Okay. Just across the fountain is our next tree, and it looks like it's gonna be. It's like, looks like I'm getting hints of Moana, and sure enough, it's Moana. There's Hey Hey right there. They do have this ship right there. Then we put the other sticker on there. Not many left. We do have to get this one though. This one's kind of out of the way, 
because you kind of have to backtrack. We're just gonna head this way and see where this next one is. Might be by like the Welcome Center or Homecoming or something like that. Over here, what is that like I guess penguins? With the poinsettias. Here's Blaze Fast Fired Pizza. Still haven't found the tree, so this one is kind of out of the way a little bit. I don't know the best route to go. So it is back here by the Ticket Center and by the Welcome Center. Good job. Says it is Cinderella. Oh, and you can see the glass slipper at the very top. Just another view of the tree. So that's going to be this one yeah. right here. I'm not getting them <laughs> One, two, three, four, five left. And that's on the way to the other end. Yep. So now we're basically going to travel the same way we just came from. And they all should be pretty much lined up down by like the Starbucks area, the um, food trucks, all that. They usually have them in a row. So the next five should be relatively pretty straightforward. On the map, they do have some seasonal eats and treats. Look at the snowman on the beach, dockside margaritas. Next to the Starbucks coffee, here's our next tree. And it is the Toy Story tree. You can also see Sheriff Woody's badge right there. Toy Story. Just passing Starbucks, Star Wars, and there are a couple of trees right by the food trucks. What is this one? Black Panther. Oh, that's cool. Black Panther. Here is the back side of it. And then right by Star Wars, we have the Star Wars tree. With the C-3PO right at the top. And then you've got the uh, Yoda for the sticker. Then past Splitsville, I already see a tree down there. And then our last one should be at the very end, probably by City Works because that's also a prize redemption location. Right past the M&M store is where this tree's at. Looks very New Orleans themed, so my guess is that it's Princess and the Frog. And let's also look, see what else is on the other side. Oh, frog, right there. And then just past City Works, we have the last tree. And this is Rhea and the Last Dragon. See the sword up at the top. All right, Rhea. All right, last one. Nice. Now we can go redeem it right here at City Works. Let's go see if we can pick up our prize in here. So we get to hang onto the map since there's uh, coupons. And here's what it looks like. 2021, the Christmas tree stroll at Disney Springs. And look, they've got the like the 50th celebration oh, yeah, the colors yeah, around it. Now I think the goal is I'm gonna pause on the video for that because I'd like to try to come back when it's a little kind of darker out and get some more of some of the trees, right? Yeah. So we're not gonna do an outro yet. But stay tuned because we will hang around until it's dark outside. All right, it is finally starting to get darker out and we're still here at Disney Springs. I'm not going to really show too many of the lights just because it's already a decently long video probably and I don't want to make it super long. So we're not going to go back by each of the trees because that would just be too much. But we are going to just see what some of the lights look like at nighttime. And here was their big tree all lit up. We'll see if we can maybe see if they do the snow tonight. And the ornaments do glow up at night. 
walking back over the bridge again and you can see all these lights on over here we have a wreath it's all got some cool colors in it and another one some more of the lights up there we'll get to see a couple of these trees up here we've got live music and here's some of those trees that was that different one earlier tree tree and here was that toy story tree it definitely is much more crowded tonight than it was earlier today we stopped into starbucks super quick and they've got a snowman cookie cranberry bliss bar sugar plum cheese danish and then over here they've got a reindeer cake pop and a pumpkin cream cheese muffin so some of their holiday treats are out all right i got me the um, sugar cookie almond milk latte but i got it warm this time because it's starting to get a little chilly let's try it oh yeah that's got sugar cookie written all over it and then just walking by a couple of these trees there's the lights on it and it, yeah oh the black panther mask face thing in the middle of it and then the lightsabers on this one kylo ren's i mean there is just a wave of people through here but Look at that one. Now that it's super crowded, I think we're gonna head towards the exit and maybe see if on the way out we can catch the snow. Also, they have the limited edition Disney World 50th Ray-Bans. Wow. And if you can see all the people, this is why, this is why we're gonna head towards the exit. There's some little roller skating snowflake people over here. Lighted snowflake people. <laughs> also a quick pass on the way to the lime garage through here everything's all decorated nice here is coco and disney plus all bright and then of course i love these palm trees that's one of my favorite things about down here at disney springs are the palm trees with the lights on them and one last look at this big tree unfortunately there's no snow right now and i'm not sure what time they're gonna do it there's someone playing a big tuba that's got lights on it and a big crowd around watching oh they're dressed like elves good show going on all right that was our trip out to disney springs full day looking at christmas trees and the lights overall they did a fantastic job on the trees this year and i love all the lights however it's different than it was earlier today. Very, very busy. Very busy. Oh, there's those lighted ornaments. Or, yeah, lighted ornaments again. But overall, it's fun. It's a fun, free thing to come do. I would definitely recommend doing it during the day and then just kind of hang around until it gets dark to look at the trees because doing the tree thing at night that would, be stressful. would be stressful. So overall, fun. Love it. Glad it's Christmas time. We had a great time. That does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.